Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Today, we're going to answer a standardized math test question where we are asked to determine the quotient with a power of 10. Here's the question. Find the quotient of 7 and 5 tenths divided by 10 squared. I'm going to ask you to pause and solve now. Come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. First, I want to review, because we have multiple operations here, order of operations. So when we see a numerical expression that involves more than one operation or parentheses, we start with our parentheses and we clear what's inside. We do not have those here. Our next step is exponents. So we have an exponent here. And then third step, multiply and divide, and we're going to do that in order from left to right. We read a numerical expression just like you read a book. And last, we're going to add and subtract anything remaining in order from left to right. So let's begin and evaluate our numerical expression. So we do not have any parentheses, so we can rule that out. And we're going to go straight to exponents, which we have here. We have this power of 10. When we have a power of 10, we have a base of 10 and an exponent of 2. That exponent of 2 means take your base of 10 and multiply it by itself two times. So 10 squared is the same as saying 10 times 10, and 10 times 10 is 100. So let's rewrite our numerical expression, replacing 10 squared with 100. 7 and a half divided by 100. When you divide by a multiple of 10 or a power of 10, each zero in the value represents a decimal place. So when we divide, we're finding the quotient, which is the answer to a division problem. We're going to move our decimal point two decimal places because we have two places over here, two zeros. So that means I'm going to take those two zeros and I'm going to count by dividing. I'm going to take them away from the 7.5 by moving the decimal point two spaces to the left because when we divide, we're getting smaller. So we're going to take those away and we're going to move it over one. So I'm going to move it one, two, and the decimal point will go here. Then we're going to add our zero here just for formatting. And we have our answer, 75 one thousandths. So 0 0.075 is 75 one thousandth. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back again tomorrow and have a great day.